माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस व्हिडिओ लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम सोल्युशन ऑफ लिनियर सायमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन द नेम ऑफ अ टॉपिक इज न्यूमरिकल बेस्ड ऑन गॉस सिडल इटरेटिव्ह मेथड नाव द प्रॉब्लेम इज वी हॅव टू यूज अ गॉस सिडल इटरेटिव्ह मेथड फॉर अँड सॉल्व इट अप टू अ थर्ड इटरेशन इनिशियल व्हॅल्यू हॅज बीन गिव्हन टू अस अँड दीज आर द इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप वी हॅव टू परफॉर्म perform partial pivot so please remember while solving a numerical by using gauss elimination after that gauss jacobi and gauss schedule we have to perform first partial pivot so let's see the coefficient of x of all the equations the equation those who have higher magnitude of a coefficient of x treat this as the equation number 1 so let me write it as first equation will be 20x plus y minus 2z equal to 17 treat this as a equation number 1 now check for remaining two equations and check coefficient of y if you see this 20y this 20 is a more or you can say 20 is a larger compared to 3 so therefore we will take 3x plus 20y Minus z equal to minus 18 as equation number 2, and remaining equation we will write it as 2x minus 3y plus 20z equal to 25. So take this as a equation number 3. Now what we will do from equation number 1, now we will write equation of x. How to write equation of x? It will be 1 by 20 into bracket 17 minus y plus 2z treat this as equation number 4 next will be now from equation number 2 we will be finding out value of a y which will be equal to 1 by 20 into bracket minus 18 minus 3x plus z So treat this as a equation number five, and I will write it here. From equation number three, we will be writing equation of z as one by twenty into bracket twenty-five minus two x plus three y. Treat this as a equation number six. Now we will be writing a formula of Gauss Seidel method. So, what is the formula of Gauss Seidel method? What to do here? Now, what I will do, I will take all these three equations. I will copy it. You have to write it again. But I will copy it here, and I will say this will be your one. One indicates what? One indicates this is the formula for iteration one. Here, this will be zero. This will be zero. Now, here if you see. x equal x of 0 equal to y of 0 equal to z of 0 equal to 0 this is initial value this upper zero whatever we have written it indicates what it indicates it is nothing but your initial value now whatever answer you will get from first equation that you have to put it here so here you will get x of 1 here z of 0 will be there and here again we have to write x of 1 And y of one means here we are shifting this answer of y at this point, and we are shifting this answer of x here. So we will get this will be your formula of Gauss Seidel method. Again, we will be solving it with the help of calculator because it will be easy for us. So let me write first will be n. Let me draw a table. N is the thing, but what? Basically, n is the thing, but number of iterations. Then x zero will be there. After that, y zero will be there. Next column will be of z zero. Next column we have to write this x of one. So let me copy this. I will be writing it directly. So this will be what? This will be your x of one. Let me reduce the size of this. Okay, so it will be formula of x one. After that, we will be writing here 
formula of y1 so what is the formula of y1 y of 1 will be equal to 1 by 20 into bracket minus 18 minus 3x1 plus z0 so this will be your next equation and if you go for if you go for last equation then i will copy this equation directly and i will put it here i will put it at this point so we will get this particular column as z1 okay so i think you have understood now why we did it like this there is simple reason is that if we know value of y0 z0 we will be able to find it out x of 1 if we know value of x1 and z0 we will be able to find it out y1 and if we know value of x1 and y1 we will be able to find it out z1 now first we will be writing it so let me change the color first so that it will be easy for identification so let's see to this i will say this is nothing but your a colon this will be your b colon c colon 2 now to this x1 i will say it is d which is equal to 1 divided by 20 into bracket 17 minus what is y0 it is denoted by b so it will be b plus 2 z0 is denoted by c next is colon we will take y of 1 as e will be equal to 1 divided by 20 into bracket minus 18 minus 3 x1 now here if you see 3 x1 is there so x1 is indicated by what it is indicated by d so it will be minus 3d plus z0 is indicated by c so i will write it as c and here we will get f will be equal to 1 divided by 20 so let me shift this here first what is your equation 25 minus 2 x1 now x1 is represented by d so minus 2 d plus 3 y1 which is represented by e so if you observe now let me first complete uh, table then only we will be able to put all the values in a calculator so first of all if you see i will complete this table first let me reduce first size so that it will be visible to you all the points so this is a table which is completed here so first column second column third column fourth column fifth column and sixth column now first of all i will open magnifier so that it will be easy to use so just a minute let me open magnifier now what i will do i will open first calculator how to put a so let me put this calculator here how to put a press this alpha button and this button then alpha and this integration sign you will get colon alpha and this dot comma 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 sign you will get b then alpha and this integration you will get colon so i will take it as this is c colon now let me see the equations properly alpha when i press sign we will get d don't press this equal to sign you have to press this alpha equal to into bracket 1 divided by 20 into bracket 17 minus b plus 2c so alpha and this symbol we will get b plus 2 alpha and hyp we will get c bracket close now let me move this calculator first here so next is e equal to so alpha and this so we will get separated col column alpha and you if you press cos you will get e alpha and calc we will get equal to so into bracket 1 divided by 20 bracket complete minus 18 minus 3 d is there so alpha and press sign you will get d and plus alpha and this will be hyp so you will get c then colon f will be equal to this is your 
alpha tan if you press you will get l alpha c a l c okay so it will be equal to 1 divided by 20 so let me write 1 divided by 20 into bracket 25 minus 2 d means alpha and sin plus 3 into e 3 alpha here e will be there so bracket complete okay so i think you have understood now how to put this okay so let me keep it as it is now what i will do i will put all these value in my uh, actual calculus also so that uh, it will be easy for me to verify this so let me put all the values please see it again carefully how the values has been uh, put in a calculator if you know if once you understand how to do this it will be easy for you to do it in a examination it requires some practice only after practice you will be able to do it very properly uh, i have to put these values in my calc so i am putting these values in my calc let me give few seconds okay so i did this i have uh, i have uh, inserted all the values now what to do next you have to press first of all i will write it here a iteration number 1 here you will have value 0 0 0 because it is already given to you so what i will do i will press c a l c press here 0 equal to b is 0 equal to c is 0 again uh, remember a is 0 b is 0 c is 0 okay so if you press equal to again it will show all these values first it will give you value as value of d which is equal to x of 1 which will be equal to what which will be equal to 0.85 so we we will write it down next will be minus 1.0275 okay and next will be if you see next value will be 1.010875 so let me minimize this i will write all the values first value we got it was 0.85 next value was minus 1.0275 and last value is 1.010875 so this is the answer at the end of iteration number 1 now for iteration number 2 what to do here just we have to do a simple thing what is a simple thing what to do here whatever answer of this x of 1 we have to put it as a x of 0 in iteration number 1 or oh sorry iteration number 2 here we have y of 1 is minus 1.0275 to put it as y 0 so minus 1.0275 and here i will put it as 1.010875 so again what to do here nothing else just you have to press c a l c and in that you have to put value of all the uh, initial conditions initial condition means what a b and c so i will put it here so please see it here i will press c a l c so what is a it is 0.85 what is b minus 1.0275 what is c 1.010875 so you will get a value b value c value what is the answer of d so if you see d is 1.002462 then e will be equal to minus 0.9998 and uh, f will be equal to 0.999 so let me write all these values d will be equal to what 1.00 246 i will take it only up to 4 5 digit minus 0.9998 and 0.9997 while finding the third iteration what we have to do while finding the third iteration now you have to put whatever answers you will you have uh, whatever answers you got here in a iteration number 2 
it should be used as a initial approximation for initial uh, for iteration number 3 so it is 1.00246 this will be value of x0 because initially this was a value of x1 in a iteration number 2 then here it will be minus 0.9998 and here it is 0.9997 so you try to put now now as i told you how to put these values you please try to put values here in a calculator so what you will get the answer if you put you will get the answer of d as okay so let me open this calculator i will press this uh, calc okay so i will directly write the answers i will get this as 0.99996 next will be minus 1.00 and this will be 1.000 so you have to write please remember at the end you have to write your answer so what is the value of x what is the value of y what is the value of z at the end of iteration 1 you got x as 0.85 minus 1.0275 y and z is 1.01087 at iteration number 2 at the end of iteration number 2 you got answer as x will be equal to 1.00246 this will be minus 0.3098 and this will be 0.9997 and at the end of iteration number 3 you got answer of x as 0.99996 anyway i can say that this is your 1 this will be minus 1 y is and z will be 1.0 So this is what is the way how to solve this numerical of Gauss Tidal method. I think you have understood the procedure. Please feel free to ask any questions if you have a doubt. Thank you for watching this video.